transverse and longitudinal wave a wave is called transverse if the particles of the medium move in the direction perpendicular to the direction of the motion of the wave in order to explain the transverse wave what i'm going to do i'm going to consider a picture of the transverse wave so here is a picture where you can see the sine curve is basically the transverse wave and as you can see this blue arrow is the direction of the motion of the medium particles and and the wave is moving in this direction with velocity v so basically as you can see the medium particles are moving in a direction parallel to y-axis or i should say perpendicular to x axis or you can also say perpendicular to the direction of the motion of the wave one thing you need to remember that the transverse waves have oscillations in many different directions it's not like the wave particles are oscillating in only one direction they can oscillate in different directions too now let's talk about the next type of wave which is basically the longitudinal wave so a wave is called longitudinal if the particles of the medium move in the direction of the motion of the wave in other words we we can say that the particles displacement is in the direction of the wave propagation the particles do not move down with the wave they simply oscillate back and forth about their equilibrium position so in order to understand this let's consider a picture so i have this spring where you can see this is a particle or the medium particle the medium particle is moving in the same direction as the direction of the motion of the wave but medium particle does not leave its position medium particle basically oscillate at its equilibrium position back and forth and transmits its energy to the particle staying next to it and that's how the motion of the medium particle is also in the direction of the motion of the wave and this is how we will define the transverse and the longitudinal wave